got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't but we wish he wasn't. It's not a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. And I learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. No Templar's doing good work. He is. I'm impressed by what Cullen has accomplished with the troops. Damn right. It takes time to build a group into a team, but he's got their loyalty. Now he just needs them to make a decent shield wall, and they'll be good to go. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader, no Inquisitor. Yeah, that's a bit of foreshadowing there. Cullen has the loyalty of our soldiers. Yeah, he's shaping up to be a good commander. But he's building an army, not a movement. My people don't pick leaders from the strongest, or the smartest, or even the most talented. We pick the ones willing to make the hard decisions, and live with the consequences. Ah, who knows? Maybe you sealed the breach. The Tantry gets off its ass, and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. But it could. <laughs> What's going on? So, how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the cube. Just, I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orle, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. <gasps> also, it's the Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. That makes sense to me. I'd like to know more about the Kunari. You writing a book? I want to know more about you. Their potential threat, they sound interesting. What I've heard about them sounds fascinating. What you've heard was mostly horse shit. All right, what do you want to know? How is everyday life different for Kunari? Well, depends on your job, I guess. Some are just about the same. A baker in Valroyo gets up, gets dressed, and starts work. A baker in Parvolan does the same thing. They don't care about the Empire or the cube. Mostly they worry about breaking eggs and hope the dough rises right. It can't be exactly the same. The Kunari have no personal freedoms. How many personal freedoms do you figure that Baker in Valroyal has? Life isn't about freedom. The Baker in Parvolin wonders if she'll be given enough eggs to do her work. Will they come on time? Will the kitchen workers get her bread while it's fresh, or will they come late and blame her because it's stale? Same crap in Val Royal. People are just people. How do the Kunari rule themselves? It's pretty simple. We've got the matriarchy, the priesthood, and the military. The priesthood figures out how Kunari should live in theory. The matriarchy makes it work in practice. And the military keeps the Kunari safe from outside threats. Does it actually work like that? Is there much infighting? <laughs> Not like you're thinking of. People disagree, yeah, but the priests are there to solve disagreements. Here in Orle, politicking comes from people putting their own gain ahead of the gains of society. If you do that among the Kanari, the Ben Hasrath set you straight. Or kill you. What's it like growing up under the Qum? The Tamasrans raise us in these units of kids all our own age. They're like teachers, or... Chantry sisters. They also helped figure out what jobs we should do. They had me pegged for military work early on. When they learned I could hit stuff and lie, they started mm. training me for the Ben Hasrath. You never knew your parents? No. I know for you folks, that's a big deal. The Tamasrans were like our parents, though. Taught us to read, helped us go to sleep, all the parent stuff. I remember the one who helped me build things with blocks. She laughed when I knocked everything down. 
Do you ever think about what would happen if the Kunari conquered Orle or Ferelden? Some folks, like Cassandra or Cullen, would do fine if they didn't die fighting. Those two love rules. But the mages... Can you imagine Solas trying his fade dreaming under the cube? Or Vivian doing her political bullshit? <clears throat> Both Sarah and Varric would mouth off until they ended up re-educated. Drugged until their minds broke. So, to answer your question, no. I don't think about it much at all. I've heard there's no marriage among the Kunari. Yeah, that's true. Kunari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Kunari don't have sex? <laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. They're Tamasrans who pop your cork whenever you need it. Yeah, really? Seriously? Yes. It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like... I don't know. Going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing. It takes all day. Leaves you walking funny. Other times you're in and out in five minutes. Thank you. See you next week. I don't know what to say. That sounds... different. Yep. Still, <laughs> it's more fun here. Fewer rituals, more making it up as you go along. Plus, you folk have redheads. <laughs> redheads. The word Kunari, is that the race or the religion? Both. Kind of. The humans and elves who follow the Kuhn are the Vidathari. The Kanari who break away from the Kuhn are Talvashar, deserters. What about Kunari who existed before the Kuhn? The people we came from. They're called the Kasset, but we don't use that word for the race. We came south to Thetis because the Kasset were... I don't know. We had to leave. The stories aren't clear. But I don't expect they look much like us. Whatever they are. See you later, Bull. See you. What can I do for you? I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Yeah. Or make them disappear. Yeah. And then you've got the spies. Re-educators is what really kind of upsets me a lot. How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page. And when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page. Erase a word here and there. And your whole outlook changes. Always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. The re-educators sound horrible. Yeah, they probably do. Here's the thing, though. What happens in Orle when you commit a crime or betray a lord? They just lop your head off. At least the Kanari try to fix you. Uh huh. None of those sound exactly like you. Yeah, I was a special case. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. I can't imagine that was easy. Nope. I hunted down a lot of rebels. Lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashoth. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. Huh. You'd heard what the re-educators did to their prisoners. Yes, I had. I wanted them to fix me like they fixed them. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orle, ostensibly as a Talvashoth, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. Hmm. It sounds like you had a rough life under the Kyun. 
What, three meals a day and free sex whenever I need it? <laughs> I came out here for the challenge, boss. Figured I'd rough it with you savages. <laughs> anyway, nice talking with you. It was nice talking to you Can too, Bull. It's always so interesting. See you later, Bull. See ya. All right. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said- <laughs> ah! That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come! Immolate. Actually, wall of fire. Then immolate. Hold the wall, men! Make them come! Well done, BW. Wally. Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have. Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I know your name because I'm an agent of the Inquisition. I'm investigating whether the disappearance of Wardens has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you. No Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. I'm not here to accuse. Not yet. I just need information. I've only found you. Where are the rest? I haven't seen any wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no blight coming. Treaties give wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire. Make you better than you think you are. Yes, they do. And again, everything... Playing through this game a third time, everything that... that Wally says makes so much sense. Do you have any idea where the other Wardens could have gone? Maybe they returned to our stronghold at Weishaupt? That's in the Underfalls, a long way north. I don't really know. Can't imagine why they'd all disappear at once, let alone where they disappear to. Why haven't you gone missing like the rest of them? Well, maybe I was going to. Or maybe there's a new directive, but a runner got lost or something. My job was to recruit on my own. Plan to stay that way for months, years. I wasn't aware Grey Wardens could take whatever they want. It's complicated. If there's a blight, everyone has to help the effort to fight it. The treaties are ancient. Outside of blights, it's as binding as a clever tongue can make it. Well, so what's next for us? 
It's been a pleasure, Warden Blackwall. But this didn't help at all. Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. The Inquisition needs all the support it can get. But what can one Grey Warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. Look, maybe fighting demons from the sky isn't something I'm practiced at. But show me someone who is. And like I said, there are treaties. Maybe this isn't a blight, but it's bloody well a disaster. Some will honor them. Being a warden means something to a lot of people. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This warden walks with the Inquisition. Make a look at it. So much easier to ignore when it's far away. And to actually walk out of it. To be that close. If I hadn't been saved by the Inquisition soldiers, I don't know what would have happened. Inquisition soldiers? That's not what I've heard. I have to admit, I thought you'd be... Human? Yes. That's not surprising. Humans are everywhere. It's expected. It was a foolish thought. Should have known better than to say anything. It's what you do and how you do it that's important. Just one question then. How do you think you fit in with all this? Some worship me, I like that. No, she wouldn't say that. I just want to help stop the war. Try to put things back in order. A worthy goal, one I'm happy to support. For me, I'll be satisfied so long as we find the bastards that killed the Divine. They owe us some answers. I've heard rumors of abandoned warden camps all over these parts. If we have time, I'd like to take a look. See if there's anything we can salvage. <laughs> You're strangely charming. Uh, uh, yeah, let's keep our options open. Let's keep our options open. You're oddly charming for a man I found wandering the forest. I always thought myself more odd than charming. But I'll take a compliment from a lady. They're hard to come by these days. I also find your modesty endearing. And the praise keeps coming. So, is there something large and heavy you need moved? I'm sure you better use this. <laughs> I was just looking to chat. No ulterior motive. Well, I do enjoy our chats. I have to say, my lady. <laughs> wow, Blackwell's going like up really fast. I've ever met. I'm flattered you'd spend any time with me. I enjoy your company. Oh, wow. Wow. Good job there, Elle. Let's talk about you. I want to hear more about you. <laughs> Compared to yours, my life will seem dull indeed. Your name, Blackwall, doesn't sound Orlesian. Marcher, then. Ferelden. I was from the Free Marchers originally. Markham. That was a long time ago. Another life. I hear that many wardens were once criminals. Mm. You're right. When you join, your past is forgotten, so let's leave it that way. Mm, nice, nice. What did you do before you became a warden? I was a soldier, a, a nobody trained to wield a sword and follow orders. I grew weary of fighting other men's wars. So you became a warden? More or less. Becoming a Grey Warden was the first time I felt like I mattered. The life I led before seems hollow in comparison. Perhaps one day it will fade away. Why did you join the Wardens? Because they remember honor and sacrifice. Words that have little meaning to the rest of us. Because they lay down their lives for those they have sworn to protect. We all need to believe there are such men in the world. I needed to believe I could be one of them. We can continue this discussion at another time. 
Very well. Hey, black wall. Black wall. Black wall. Yes. What do you think of the Inquisition? I expected more. More men. Better equipment. We're working on you it. You may have Andraste's favor, but wars are won by men, soldiers. Wh women too. Excuse me, sir. Women too. Avoiding war altogether would be ideal. <laughs> True enough. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. One thing I will say about your men. They're passionate. Devoted. You inspire them. Build on that foundation. And you will have an army that makes nations tremble. What do you think of Haven? It's a war camp that was once a pilgrim's refuge. It's the state of the world though, isn't it? Holy ground turned into a battlefield. Pity about that temple. Would have been nice to see it. What do you think of the Inquisition's cause? Restoring order is a goal I support wholeheartedly. But that's not the end of it, is it? Not by a half. The Lady Seeker believes we are restoring the Chantry. Others say it needs reform. I don't know where you stand on the matter, and I'll admit I haven't made up my mind either. Mm. What do you think about all this trouble between the Mages and Templars? Looking at it from where we stand, it seems inevitable. But that could be hindsight. How many of us actually saw it coming? Either way, I don't think the Chantry will ever recover. You must have some feelings about our friends. Sarah doesn't know who she is or what she wants. And doesn't even care. What do you think of my advisors? Cullen. He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. Yeah. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity. And I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Yeah. Still, I trust him to watch my back. And Elle's like, I trust to watch him. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense, but oh well. What do you think of my advisors? Liliana seems nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. <laughs> that's that's pretty accurate. Nice. Also a little frightening, but mostly nice. I, that's perfect. Um, spy messes are nice. Does Leliana frighten you? Has she said anything to you? No, she hasn't said anything. I'd just rather not offend her. Yes. I don't want to wake up with a blade in my kidneys if I can help it. Fair enough. What do you think of my advisors? Josephine's lovely and craftier than you'd expect. The Inquisition could not have picked a better ambassador. Yeah, I love Josephine. What do you think of my advisors? Liliana seems right. nice, also a little frightening, but mostly nice. Plus in the inner circle? You must have some feelings about our friends. Don't play diamond back with Solus. You've been warned. <laughs> Taught him the game last night. He turned around and beat me at it. Lost everything. Had to walk back to my quarters with only a bucket for my bit. Wow, we just we just literally recruited you, Blackwall. You make friends fast. And apparently you you make friends fast enough to already owe them an arm and a leg. You must have some feelings about our friends. Madame Vivian only allied with the Inquisition because she knows it will bring her power. The most poisonous snakes are often the most beautiful. I don't think L believes that. Me, the player, I have a feeling that that's true. But L is a little naive, and I think... She's got some na naivety in her, and I think that she's she's probably like, yeah, I, I can kind of see that. Uh, uh, I think Elune is sort of like a cross between, ah, oh, geez, what was I going to say? Elune, my, my warden's character, she's sort of like a cross between Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. That's sort of how I s kind of picture her personality, combination of... Yeah, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Elle from Legally Blonde. <laughs> Maybe it's the pink hair. Maybe it's the fact that Elune is short for Elle. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Um, you must have some feelings about our friends. Have you seen the stories Varric's been writing? His descriptions of me are colorful, to 
say the They're least. all about your beard, I'm sure. You must have some feelings about our friends. Sarah doesn't know who she is or okay. what she wants. And doesn't even care. One more, one more about this. You must have... Talked with Solus the other day. That man knows all there is to know about everything. You must have some feelings. Talked with Solus the other okay. day. That's enough. That man. We should return. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. At your service. That doesn't sound very warm. I'm sure he'll warm to us. We'll flirt a little bit more and he'll warm up to us a little bit more. Uh, tell me about the Wardens. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. A lot. The Wardens? I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. The Blight's been over for ten years. What do Wardens do when the world's not ending? There are still Darkspawn. Just because we kill so many in Ferelden doesn't mean they're gone. And the world is not so peaceful that there's no use for good men with swords. Sometimes you have to figure out for yourself what the pledge to protect others really means. It's not always about just archdemons and blights. Where were you during the blight? I was in Ferelden. On my own, like always. Quietly killed my fair share of Darkspawn too. You haven't had contact with other Wardens for a while. Why were you on your own? It's what I've always done. Recruitment only requires one man. Besides, I've always been a loner. Works best for everyone that way. So you have no idea where the rest of the Wardens are? Do you find that odd? The blight is over. We don't need an organized force. And orders don't change much from day to day. <laughs> For the last thousand years or so, it's been just find Darkspawn, kill them, repeat as necessary. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. Thank you, Wally. 